Hello everyone. I thought after my last review of the Titlast X80 Plus, we'd take a look at what the accuracy is like on the accelerometers or tilt sensors on three different tablets that I have here. Uh, up on this little Belkin stand, which is simply being used as a reference point, uh, we currently have an iPad Mini 2, the one with the retina screen. And as you can see, it's reading pretty much dead on 0.0, .0 degrees. There's a slight difference between the left and right needles. However, uh, I tried to shim the stand. Ooh, my hand on the table. I tried to shim the stand, and it's less than a piece of paper. So we're going to count that as pretty accurate, at least according to Apple, which I have found so far to be pretty good. Now, the next tablet we're going to take a look at is my gloriously cracked one the Asus Vivo Tab 8, or the M81C. And let's put that in here. It's running different software, of course, Windows versus iOS. Uh, we're looking at this meter down there, the bottom one. And it's showing me roughly 1.4 to well, 1.3 to 1.6 degrees. So it's slightly off. Let's make sure that's well seated. It's slightly off, but not that bad. I, I honestly suspect that most games would count that in the margin of error, and we just count that as going straight. Let's see what actually kind of correction that requires. All right, you're looking at about that much. You have to hold it, so not too bad. I don't think most humans are that accurate anyways. So let's move on to the next tablet, the Tetlast X80 Plus, which is just timed out on me. And here we are. For some reason, the same software runs differently under Windows 10, and it won't change orientation. But we're basically looking at this bubble meter up here. The one currently flashing between 3.4 and 3.4 and about 4 degrees. Now let's see what kind of correction that actually requires. I'm going to be going this way this time. Certainly a lot more jitter than there was on the Asus. More significant. Okay. Now that, I can assure you, is quite a bit. It does not feel natural to hold a tablet at that angle to make it go straight. And if you do hold it level, the game very much thinks you're going to the right, or if you flip it around 180 degrees, going to the left. So that is a serious problem for gaming. It honestly feels like your car has a severe alignment problem and it's about time to take it to the shop. It is not natural, not comfortable. And the shame of that is the Z8300 really plays games like Asphalt 8 quite well. The frame rate and the level of control is otherwise fine. It's just that the car keeps veering to the left or the right. It's, it's not playable. This is the kind of thing that's supposed to be calibrated at the factory. There is apparently software you can run that will calibrate the accelerometer to known good levels. However, that is not provided to end users and I've been unable to locate anything. So when you get one that veers to the right by four degrees, you're stuck with it. 